Alrighty, um, I have a bit of an opinionated video to do today, um, but before I get started, I did want to stress before you listen to any person's opinions on uh, the matters going around in the world right now, um, another personal opinion I have is you should always listen to the healthcare professionals um, and take advice from your government officials, and uh, people like me on YouTube don't know any more um, than your doctors and your health professionals in your country. So definitely take their advice over anyone on YouTube. And everything I say is just an, a personal opinion and a, just a reflection of what's going on. So I just wanted to say that before I got into the video because I don't want anyone to listen to me and to take what I'm saying as, oh, everything must be good or everything must be wrong. So I'll get right into it now. Um, Obviously, for obvious reasons, a place like Canada's Wonderland um, isn't open right now. And that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So places like Canada's Wonderland and Marineland in the Toronto area and the Niagara region um, currently are closed for obvious reasons to keep everyone safe. Um, but as we progress through uh, with what's going on, I think we're getting to a much safer place to start thinking about, again, using the keywords thinking, about these places opening up. So obviously I use this video here right now to show the last season. So this is Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland back in 2019. It's super crowded and things like this aren't gonna happen for a while. And that's unfortunate. When I reflect back on it, it's really gonna miss stuff like this. You know, we were walking through here complaining about how busy it is. Now I only dream about walking through a place this busy and just being around people in general again. I'm really looking forward to that. It's it's funny how what once used to be super annoying is now, wow, I really miss that time. Um, but nonetheless, parks like Canada's Wonderland and the chain that owns Canada's Wonderland and other chains like Six Flags and the parks in Orlando have all presented um, measures in order to keep people safe and measures so they can open up. And honestly, upon review, every single park out there seems to have a really good game plan. And I honestly, again, as I always say, trust my life uh, with the company that operates Canada's Wonderland, that is Cedar Fair. I trust them with any decisions they make. They're a very intelligent company, um, and uh, they definitely know what they're doing in terms of safety. Again, Canada's Wonderland, as you saw on a recent documentary, um, by C it wasn't a documentary, sorry, a, a thing by CBC, I think it was. Uh, Canada's Wonderland has one of the best track records out there in terms of theme parks. So... I trust them, and I know that when they do open, um, if they open this year, it, everything will be extremely safe, it'll be extremely clean, and the processes that they're presenting seem very viable in terms of opening up the park. I think it's time. Um, I'm not saying open the gates tomorrow. Um, I'm just saying with what happened today, so for those of you that don't know, the Toronto Zoo um, started selling tickets for a drive through option. And to get a ticket, as you see right here, your spot in line is 4,861. And from what my personal experience, I had multiple tabs. It went all the way back down, back to 6,000, which means there's probably like 30,000 people in Toronto right now trying to get tickets to the Toronto Zoo. And they're only selling tickets for a week period. And that being said, they're probably going to sell over 100,000 tickets today and tomorrow alone. What that tells anyone paying attention is we are really bored. We are really bored. We are looking for things to do and we need things to do. If we don't start keeping ourselves occupied, you're going to end up with a lot of people starting to get frustrated, starting to be unsafe. Again, keyword unsafe, not following the rules and recommendations presented by health officials. And you're going to end up with spikes in that sense in terms of what's going on. However, if you open things up safely and you enforce things like wearing a mask and you have security guards that are enforcing the mask policy and you're doing the testing at the front gate, again, um, these were just options presented by Cedar Fair, but they were discussing even doing quick blood tests to ensure no one had uh, what was going around coming into their park. They were going to do temperature checks. They're going to do social distancing and app to even line up to get onto a ride so no one will be lined up close together. So you just click a ride and it'll tell you when to come ride it. Um, mobile ordering for food and an extremely limited capacity in terms of attendance, people allowed in the park. I'm super excited. I think that with those options presented, we also just learned from the CDC that in terms of spread, it is 
not as easy. Again, keywords, not as easy. A lot of people were sharing that article being like, oh, it doesn't spread on surfaces. That's not true. It just spreads not as easily as they originally thought. So um, in my personal opinion, I think now might be the right time to start thinking about opening up parks in Canada. We see theme parks in Florida opening up and they get more cases than we do, almost double the cases we do. Uh, not sure about the population difference there. I should have looked that up before this video. I just didn't think I was going to go on that, uh, that topic. But parks are opening up in America with more cases. And I think that Ontario, with the... Um, the things that, that Canada's window will have in place uh, to handle this, I think that they could honestly open up by July 1st. I would like to see Canada's Wonderland um, open up by July 1st. I'm saying July 1st because they obviously still have training and getting the park ready to do. Um, and uh, yeah, but I do know that they would be ready. I know that they would be safe. And I do trust the systems that they have presented as options to keep people um, separated, social distance, and still enjoying and having fun. Now, with that being said, seeing what happened at the Toronto Zoo today, getting into Canada's Wonderland once they do open is going to be extremely difficult. And that is the part that I'm afraid of, you know, but at least it'll be open. But I guess the enthusiasts won't be able to go every day because getting a ticket is going to be extremely hard. Um, but I, I'm excited. I think that the Toronto Zoo and opening up today, well, it opens up tomorrow, but you could get tickets today, shows that people are really looking forward for something to do. And what a lot of people don't understand is a lot of people really do want to go back to work. You know, I see online uh, the 40 plus uh, in age people are accusing the younger generation of enjoying being unemployed and enjoying being on CERB. And in fact, that's not true at all. Every single person I've talked to is dying to get back to work. Everyone wants to get back to work. Everyone wants to start enjoying their time again. And again, it is moving too quickly for the people that expect it to open up today or things to move day by day. No, this is an every two week, two week thing. We have to watch what's going on in terms of uh, charts is how I'll word it. And um, yeah, you can't just magically snap your fingers and everything's open. You have to watch it. And I really do trust how the government and health officials have been handling things. And you have to. They know what's going on. They're not lying to us. The whole world isn't working together in terms of lying to us. But nonetheless, we're here. And uh, I do think with, with everything that's going on in terms of North America, I think that a July 1st opening for Canada's Wonderland isn't out of the picture. And I would really like to see that. And I think that it, they're ready, you know, Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm curious to think what you uh, hear. Sorry, not think. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about this matter. Do you think Canada's Wonderland should open around July 1st? Do you think that's too early? Do you think that's too late? Do you think that's an appropriate time? Again, you guys have opinions just like me, and I would love to hear them down below in the comments section. Don't be afraid to call me out on anything I've said in this video. Again, as I said, always trust your healthcare professionals any more than any guy or girl on YouTube. Um, they know a lot more than we do. And again, this is just an opinion. I, I personally just think it's time. And I would like to see more things open. Obviously, things like buffets and stuff, that makes sense. And if a park or a, a business isn't following the guidelines set forth by uh, the government officials and the health professionals, then they should be shut down. Or, um, you know, as, as it was said, our government in Ontario is up to a 92% um, tracing rate within a 24-hour period. That's a really good number to have. I think that, you know, ultimately... We're ready. I'm ready. Personally, I'm ready. I would like to go walk out and hang out with a group of even just five friends, um, social distancing together, all wearing masks and uh, obviously abiding by all the guidelines set forward by our health professionals, Canada's Wonderland, Cedar Fair and any business that chooses to open. And uh, yeah, again, Whew, it's, a, it's a difficult topic to discuss because I know there's going to be some people that watch this video and get upset. And I know there's going to be some people who overly agree with my opinion on this subject. And then there's a few of us like me who's in the middle like, yeah, I know we need to be safe. And yet we need to open up. You know, we need to open our economy back up, but we need to do so safely. Um, wearing masks, um, washing our hands, being clean and social distancing. Anyways, this video was not meant to offend anyone uh, again. 
Uh, hopefully you took this just as an opinion and uh, feel free to counter my opinion down below in any form. And hopefully you're staying safe, wear those masks and listen to your healthcare professionals, guys. And hopefully we'll see each other at the park someday soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.